YouTube! How you guys doing today? It's Mike. This is Jenny. Pratt Family Homestead. Hey, we're out here weeding the squash we decided. Let's make a little video, show you guys all the different squash that we have planted. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we have all these planted real close together and um, we're just kind of experimenting this year. So yeah. next year, we may settle on some flavors and, and keep them a little more separated from each other, but we have all these planted very close together. How many varieties do we have? Well, you got the master list, mama. So we've got a list here and we've been keeping track of what grew and what didn't. Um, uh, some, some were planted with seeds, some were planted uh, from seedling. Right. There's, well, we planted a variety of 16, mm -hmm. but one kind didn't grow at all. Is that the zuka? Yeah. Oh, I want to grow those zuka so bad. So you'll also notice this is the heat of the day. This is late afternoon, four o'clock in the afternoon, five in the afternoon. Yeah. It's hot and nasty, so some of these don't look so great. Some of the plants don't, but also they're lacking water. I Hopefully tell you what. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, in the morning <laughs> these plants look 20 times better. They do, and the flowers are all huge, yeah. and now everything's all like. That's when we should have been making this video. So, but anyways, um, I'm. Uh, you might be able to see in the background. I don't know. I got some five-gallon buckets of manure, horse manure. Um, these plants really took off when I added horse manure to they them. They did. And so I'm gonna. Uh, side dress all this with a bunch of horse manure today if it doesn't rain tomorrow and friday like it's supposed to and if we don't get much then i'll drag the hose down here and yeah, we'll, we'll get the sprinkler hoses. going uh it's a pain to drag the hose down here so we just kind of try to let it be but so let's take, come along jenny's gonna um rattle off each flavor breed variety. a variety <laughs> as uh as we go down the line so let's go take a look at that and um we're overall pretty happy with how squash yeah. is going and then we're also going to take you over to the garden where the squash is boom <laughs> like yeah that's if you if you remember our garden is where the pigs tore up last year so there's they ate lots of pumpkin mm -hmm. they pooped in there a ton uh we got our barn cleanouts on top of the garden yes. and the squash are absolutely loving that environment yes volunteer and planted it's just like it's a green jungle over there <laughs> So let's take a look at this spreadsheet that we have. And this might actually make a nice snapshot of all the different kinds. But we've got it marked out what was planted. And if you could see on that list, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, Jenny's marked off things that didn't make yep. it. So I believe this is the first one on the list. Yes. Or the second, but anyways. I believe it's the first one. It's the black futsu. It's one of the smallest plants that we have. Um, and there's one right there. Yeah. They're hard to see. They're like camouflage. And these black futsu, I'm going to try and leave links to them. I, uh, I forget what we read last year. We didn't eat ours fast enough last year and it kind of rotted out. But they are a neat sounding squash. Yeah, and they turn a really pretty color. In yeah, was it, a, was it a nutty flavor? Yeah. Yeah. And so that we had two planted. And but, then two zuccas. And then two zuccas and they didn't make it. Grow. So then we get into the warty squash, the crook neck squash that um, were given to us by Old Alabama Gardener. So we'll link all sorts of information. He has a video these... on everything from growing them to cooking them to other things you can do with them. He has multiple, multiple videos. Yes. So we planted four and we got four. And these are probably the healthiest, best looking plants. These things look awesome. Squash, squash patch. Hey, um, TJ. Can you also help mom pull some leaves back and we'll take a look yeah, at some let's, stuff in here? Let's open this up a little bit. Look at all these coming out. And here, after we're done with this little tour, we will be harvesting some of these uh, crookneck yellow squash. That's just one plant. There's more over here. They're all over. These are doing awesome. We're excited. We're not huge squash people, but um, we're trying. We're trying. We're getting there. And Andrew is dying to be on camera. So <laughs> All right. After that, so that's we the crook neck, and then we get into three Jackie Littles, but only one is growing right now. So he's not producing anything yet, but he's kind of going that way. Yep. And you can see the tip of them. Andrew, stand by the tip of that. Right there. And this little area is about, um, I'm guessing, 20 foot wide. Okay, so that's Jackie Little. We usually get tons of Jackie Littles. We do. So. Um, so then that starts Goliath, and originally I had counted five, but it looks like we have six Goliath pumpkins 
that are grow active. Now the Goliath pumpkin is one that we've read more for eating, or it can be, but also ornamental. I think so. Yeah, we think I, that's... I again, we're not big squash people, folks. No. So we got a pretty good sized one growing right there. Yep. And there's a little bit of a smaller one right here, but there's it also, also looks like... TJ, show me this one. Something has decided to take a little nibble out of this one. Yep, we got deer back in here. Yep, we've got some deer. Uh, it could be rabbit, but we're thinking deer. The deer have been chewing on our corn over there also. Yep, there's another one over there by Jenny. So how many of these plants are there, Jenny? There's actually six. I so there's one, and then one didn't grow. Two. There's actually two over there. Oh, yes, there is. One, two. Right. Yep, oh, okay. and then one didn't grow. Three, four, five, six. And then we got a blank spot right here. Yep, and that's where a, a Boston Morrow was supposed to grow, and that's what this is. Andrew, look at this. Did you see this? You see the size of that thing, Andrew? That's a TJ, Boston can you can you kneel down by there to get a, a reference for size? The thing's getting pretty big, and we thought, since we don't know nothing about squash, that we had missed picking for that. But what did you just read, Jenny? Um, I read that it gets to be about a 15 pound fruit and it turns like a reddish color. So it's actually not even quite ready yet. And that thing is huge. Now what we're gonna do with the 15 pound squash, I have no idea, but. I'm sure the viewers have lots of ideas of what to do, yes. so. And I, and I don't mean that, I don't mean that rudely. I mean, the great thing about YouTube is we don't know and a lot of people do know. Yeah. <laughs> The odd thing is the plant right next to it is also a Boston Morrow. And you can see the difference in these two plants. I don't know exactly why one is. I'm wondering, so there's a, actually a trench right here that I had originally laid horse poo in. I wonder if I slacked on some over here or something maybe. Maybe. But there's, I mean, there's one there and there's a little one down here growing. There's one over here. Oh, is oh, there yeah. another one under here? Oh, yeah, that's oh, on the another first little plant. One. Yep. Nice. Okay. Okay, so then we move into Blue Hubbard. Blue We're Hubbard. We're supposed to have three, but we only have two. We only have these two. But they are growing. There's one on each plant. Oh, here's that, a thistle. Let me get this. That one's a little bit bigger. Yep. Do we know the size of what these are supposed to be? I No, I've got... I've I need got to go make a list. Things. Look how cool this looks, this next one. These are the white scallops. These I think are, this is done. Yeah. I think these are supposed <laughs> to stay small. These things got really big. Andrew, go over by mom and put your hand by that. They're really neat looking. I'm thinking we let these get too big, but we're still going to try them. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bud. Good job. My fingers. And this is a yellow oh. scallop. And these ones are still small. Yep. We've got a couple, ouch, small ones. That is a very pokey plant, yep. forewarning. Now, the one I'm excited about. Yes, the Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. We've had Atlantic Giant plants grow, but not the pumpkin. This one comes all the way out to here so far. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably guessing 15 to 18 foot. Yes. And it's a pretty good sized pumpkin. <laughs> this one's going to get a little extra dose of some manure, I think. We have three of them. We have one that one? One didn't grow in between. So oh, we've so got one space. One, one no grow, yep. and another one. And what is, and this is, so this is an Atlantic giant right here too? Yes. Oh, I was wrong. This is a very small Atlantic giant. Plant. Oh, that is. It must have come up way later. So we technically oh, okay. have four, I guess. And how many were planted? Five. Right, so this is the one that's missing right here. Yeah. Okay, so, so these guys are these guys are getting some manure. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Gosh, oh, okay, so this is another Atlantic yep, giant. Yeah, so that's one right there. All right, awesome. Yeah. We did not officially enter in the pumpkin challenge, but uh, I'm still interested to see because if I can get them to grow, TJ, Andrew, we might have to enter the pumpkin challenge next year. Biggest pumpkin. And I don't even know if there's a, an official entry, but hey, Jenny, show them. We'll try to find some video to list to, to, to refer to. There you go. Good job, babe. All right. What's this one? These two you can Can I say something? What? It's really interesting how each of these squash plants, they're all squash, but, but Jenny, the espe so Jenny especially is being, getting to the point where she can look at the leaves and tell, and, and I can tell too that it changes from variety to variety with just by looking at the leaves, but oh well. Spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. That some wildlife has been nibbling on. Yeah. But we've got... Four There's one under there too. Here. Yep. Um, so spaghetti. We, plan, we planted two. We got two. Spaghetti squash is something we've dabbled in before, uh, eating yeah, it from the store. I think we haven't grown any, 
but we are really trying like i said to become more more squashy type people yep. oh what is this thing babe so this is a blue hungarian but that something is loving yeah something was nibbling on it it's the only one on the plant so far so hopefully we'll get some more these are called Ronde Nice, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't even know if I'm saying Do you want to point to it on the paper? Do I have it spelled correctly on the paper? Oh, Ronde de Nice. Ronde, Ronde de Nice? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't know anything about them, but we, we need to figure out if they need to come out. They're not getting much bigger. There's three of them there, though. That's yeah. cool. Wait, there's so, three? Oh, we'll so, see. Eating what? A pumpkin. These oh. two are Connecticut pumpkins. And this one was a favorite to somebody. <laughs> somebody is loving that thing. So, but we have another one right oh. here. Yeah. So that's good. So again, those two are Connecticut pumpkins. This one is an American tunda. American tunda. American tunda. <laughs> There's nothing on it yet, but there is like what appears to be one that'll start down here if it you know actually pollinates and stuff like that, that one? and then we were supposed to have two of these but one of them didn't grow this is a gorton gourd he had a very rough start it kind of seemed like he's just now starting to take off he's got one little flower um but he's he's finally starting to find out. I have I don't know anything about this one. I can't remember what the Gorton Gourd thing was. Did somebody send us that seed? I really don't remember. I will um hmm. I will edit this out if I'm wrong, but is did Haas send us I that? I think it was Uncle Haas. Uncle Haas. Alright, and if, if that's the case Yeah, I think Uncle Haas. We'll we'll, we'll link, link the him. video where I think I think I think he made a video sending us and other people some stuff. Yeah, I think so. So I don't know anything about it, but it, it is taking off. This is our smallest plant. It is taking off slowly, but it's starting to go. So we'll right. see how he does. Cool. All right. So that's the squash. Oh, no, no. We got to go over the... I need to add some poo here real quick. Yeah, this is squash patch. We need to... Yeah, what, what's, 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 what's TJ and Mom's favorite saying? Squatch patch. Squatch patch. <laughs> <laughs> One of those tongue, tongue twisters. All right. So we're going to add some poo over here real quick, and then... Um, uh, what do you got, bud? Scratch patch. I love how you raise your hand, brother. That's cool. Scratch. <laughs> uh, we'll add some poo and head over to the garden and show you those squash, which uh, we have some zucchinis and stuff over there, but a lot of the huge plants are the pumpkins. The volunteer. The volunteer pumpkins that came out of the rear end of the pigs last oh, that's year. that's so pleasant. <laughs> last year as they were tilling up this garden for us. Yes. Plants. All right, so we did a little research, and some of this stuff is ready. Jenny's already found out, so you know, like, <clears throat> Which ones are these, baby? The Ronda de Nice. Okay. The very pokey plant. Okay, so you're going to hold the plant and you're going to twist the squash and then give a little pull. Okay? They're fuzzy. And hard. Nice. Mm -hmm. They are kind of hard, aren't they? I want to get the other one. Okay. Andrew the goes in the wagon. wagon. The one on the back side. So Jenny, what did your reading say that these were done? Um, quite a few people were saying somewhere between three and four inches. They're really tender and sweet. Okay. Um, but they tender won't, and sweet. Okay. They won't get much bigger than that. So I think that this one's our biggest one. I think that's probably about as big as they're gonna get. Okay. They're a type of zucchini. Oh, okay. And we didn't even know that. They're great for stuffing. So you like pour them out. You can. So we're gonna have a dish of that. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm stuffing it with yet, but. And right. we're not squash people once again, so we're we'll not we'll people. see we'll see how hungry we are at dinner that night. Yep. <laughs> we ordering pizza. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, TJ, why don't you pull this down till mom finds something else she wants to harvest? The white scallop. That is for I think that is way those are way too big already. Yeah, I, I believe so as well. I think I see people harvest those at handful size. Yes. Where do you get those? I want to pick one. Hold on, buddy. If they're easy to pick. Let's see that thing, Mom. Those look really cool. I that love those. Good. I have no idea how nope. we're going to kick these. Oh, there's we, some chicken in the wheat field. We, we have, TJ was pointing that out about 10, so 15 smooth. minutes ago. <laughs> they're very smooth. Let me feel them. They're very Andrew, smooth. Andrew, let me feel. That is huge. Oh, wow. 
Isn't that cool? What about that yellow one? So do you think this yellow one's ready? No, I think he's got a little bit more to go. He doesn't okay. quite have a scalloped edge Oh, yep, yet. you're right, yep. So we're going to let him sit just a little bit longer, but probably not as long as these guys. So am I right? The next one is probably Charles's. Yes, the warty squash. The warty squash, the crookneck squash. And I got clarification from Charles that crookneck squash, warty squash, he, he refers to them as the, they're the same. Andrew, can you pull that wagon down here, bud? Are we saving any for seed? We'll let some grow out and we're going to dry them and let them be birdhouses and stuff too. Nice. It's okay, bud. Bring the one down. He's nice and flexible. I accidentally broke his oh. stem off. And pokey. I accidentally bopped his stem off. Oh, it smells kind of sweet. Can I see? It's not, just a little bit. Okay, let's get these in the wagon. I want to smell. Oh, my nose is so Nice. Thank you. Nice, Thank you Mama. Mama. That's a good crook. Yeah. Oh, fuzzy. It's fuzzy. Yes. It's okay. All right, so we're ready to go to the garden? Yes. Okay. Let's go do this. What are the girls doing anyways? Play-Doh. Oh, cool.